means we need to prove 1 plus 3 plus 5 and so on up to 2n minus 1 equal to n square using mathematical induction. So if first we will consider this uh, given formula or statement as p of n. Now if, if n is equal to 1 then 2n minus 1 will be 2 times 1 minus 1 which is 1 only. That means in left hand side we will be considering only the first term 1. Right hand side it is n square that means 1 square which is also 1. So hence we can say p of 1 is true. Next if n is equal to 2 then 2 times n minus 1 will become 2 times 2 minus 1 which will be 3 and uh, <clears throat> that means we need to consider in left hand side two terms uh, 1 plus 3 which will be 4 right hand side will be n square which is 2 square and that is also 4 so hence we can conclude p of 2 is also true now we will assume assume p of k is true means n is taking the value k that means our left hand side will become now 1 plus 3 plus 5 and so on plus 2 times k or instead of writing left hand side I can write it as p of k p of k will be 2k minus 1 and that will be equal to k square. Now to prove, we need to prove now to prove p of k plus 1 is true. Means uh, k value will be, I'm sorry, n value will be k plus 1 n will be k plus 1 which means our left hand side will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 and so on plus 2 times k minus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 that will be our left hand side We already know that we assumed this as k square. So we will simply have now expanding this 2k plus 2 minus 1. That will be our left hand side, which will be k square plus 2k, 2K plus 1. So if we can split this, 2k as k square plus k plus k plus 1. Then we can factorize this first two terms. Common is k. So we have k plus 1. Next, k plus 1. Now in this common is k plus 1 into k plus 1, which is nothing but k plus 1, the square. So instead of n square, it is k plus 1 square. So we proved that. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true, which means that we can conclude that p of n is true. In this question, we need to prove for all n greater than or equal to 1, uh, 1 divided by 1 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2 into 3 plus 1 divided by 3 into 4 and so on. 1 divided by n into n plus 1 is n divided by n plus 1 using mathematical induction. So first of all, we'll consider again this as p of n. Now, if n is equal to 1, then our LHS will have only the first term. So it is 1 divided by 1 into 2, which will be 1 by 2. RHS will be n is 1 so 1 divided by 1 plus 1 that is also 1 by 2 
So therefore, we can say P of 1 is true. Now, uh, we will have to consider N as 2. If N is equal to 2, then left hand side will have two terms, which will be 1 divided by 1 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2 into 3. That will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 6. LCM for this is 6. So here we will have 3 plus 1. Uh, so we will get 4 by 6 or 2 by 3. Now right hand side is n divided by n plus 1 which means 2 divided by 2 plus 1 and that is also 2 by 3. 2 by 3. So we can say p of 2 is true. Now assuming p of k is true which means that our p of k will become 1 divided by 1 into 2, 1 divided by 2 into 3 plus and so on, n divided by, I'm sorry, 1 divided by, 1 divided by n into n plus 1, 1 divided by k into k plus 1, because n is getting replaced with k is equal to should be equal to k divided by k plus 1. k divided by k plus 1. As we are assuming p of k as true, we are replacing n with k and rewrote that. Now to prove p of k plus 1 is true, we have LHS will be 1 divided by 1 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2 into 3 plus and so on 1 divided by k into k plus 1 plus next term 1 divided by k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 so it becomes k plus 2. Now based on our assumption these terms will be equal to k divided by k plus 1 so we are going to add the last term, which is 1 by k plus 1 into k plus 2. In these two terms, what is common is 1 by k plus 1 is common. We can take it outside. So first term will have now k only. Second term will have 1 by k plus 2. Now this will be equal to 1 divided by k plus 1. Now, LCM for this is k plus 2. So, we will be multiplying k times k plus 2 plus 1, which will be 1 divided by k plus 1. And then here it is k square plus 2k plus 1 divided by k plus 2. This is nothing but 1 by k plus 1 times numerator is nothing but k plus 1 the square divided by k plus 2. So 1 k plus 1 uh, will get cancelled which means we will get k plus 1 divided by k plus 2 which can be rewritten as k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 plus 1 which is similar to n divided by n plus 1. That is what we are supposed to prove. So hence we can conclude p of k plus 1 is true, which means that p of n is also true. So that is the proof using mathematical induction. In this, we need to prove that 1 plus x to the power of n is greater than or equal to 1 plus nx for all natural numbers n, where x is larger than minus 1 by principle of mathematical induction. So, first of all, let us consider p of n as 1 plus x to the power of n 
greater than or equal to 1 plus nx. Whatever statement which is being given, we are considering it as p of n. Let n is equal to 1, then we will have LHS of this expression as 1 plus x to the power of 1, which is nothing but 1 plus x. And the right hand side of this expression will become 1 plus 1 times x, which is also 1 plus x. Therefore, p of 1 is true. Now, let us consider p of x as uh, p of k as true. P true. Then we will have p of k will be 1 plus x to the power of k greater than or equal to 1 plus k times x. Now consider uh, p of k plus 1 which will be 1 plus x to the power of k plus 1. That can be rewritten as 1 plus x to the power of k times 1 plus x. Now, already we assumed that this 1 plus x is greater than or equal to 1 plus kx that we can substitute. So, this will, uh, sorry, I should write greater than or equal to, this has to be greater than or equal to 1 plus kx times 1 plus x, which is equal to, if you multiply, you get 1 plus x plus kx plus k x square and that means 1 plus x to the power of k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus x times k plus 1 plus k x square or I can rewrite it as 1 plus x to the power of k plus 1 greater than or equal to 1 plus k plus 1 times x. Since our k x square has to be either greater than or equal to 0. So we can ignore that and we can write it. Now this is very similar to the given expression 1 plus x to the power of n which is 1 uh, greater than or equal to 1 plus nx similar to that. Therefore we can conclude p of k plus 1 is true, which means p of n is true. That is the proof.